What are they doing? Play. Overgrown wains, you see. Have you any children, Geralt? None. Oh, yes. I forgot which is Estera. Well, don't just stare at me. Tell me what brings you. Vladimir sends his love. You spoke to him. Impossible. Did more than that. Fulfilled your wish. And talked to him extensively. Curious what he had to say? Fulfilled your wish. Your dead brother had himself one more day like those of old. Very easy to say. But have you got any proof? I do. Vladimir's hand is unmistakable. You've done well, Witcher. Is that all? My fists are itching for a fight. I'd be proud if to stick something else. This the Brasodi Brothers auction house? Seems it. Private Kleiner, you're on duty. Need I remind you? Fraternizing with civilians is not allowed. Purpose of your visit? Just curious. Redanian army regulars, right? Lance Corporal Václav reporting. And this bloke's my subordinate, Private Kleiner. Careful you don't piss yourself out of excitement. You say something, soldier. Not a thing. Shouldn't you be somewhere? There's a war on, you know. We was transferred here. All official. Written order 76 CWX. Mission, guard the auction house. Priority, high top, in fact. Poor Sodi fella knows his way about the court. Helps the high ranking sell their war booty. <laughs> Gets protection in return. Private Kleiner, that's confidential military information. Any of the owners home? Meaning the one and sole owner, the esteemed host for Sodi? Aye, he is. Need to talk to him. Order 76 CWX is clear. Auctions only open to folk with invitations. Writ out in their names, plain and simple. Gonna let that hold you back? Come on. I'm afraid you're out of luck. Order 76 CWX also held that Lance Corporal Vatslav stick a broomstick up his ass. Kleiner, need I remind you of the penalty for insulting a superior? Who have we here? Geralt, the Witcher of Rivia. Vimy Vivaldi, the banker from. Actually, where are you from? Matters little, mate. Gold knows no boundaries. What's all the fash, Corporal Batslav? 
Are you squabbling with my pal Geralt? Master Vivaldi, sir, your esteemed associate, he weren't invited to the auction, and I've... But I plough and have been, and he's coming with me. In you go, Geralt. Appreciate the help. Good night. I've always had a mind to see into old pals and clients. Business with you's a pure pleasure, Vimy. The dear departed wifey claimed the same. Ah ha! Folk are assembling. Auction's about to start. Time we went upstairs. <sighs> I could have sworn the Borsodi's auction house was in Novigrad. It was, but they moved it. You see, Radovid offered Horst a preferential tax rate. Zero percent. Huh. Pretty much unbeatable. Aye. And I've never seen a purer example of the benevolent state. What did folk come to bid on? Any idea? All kinds of valuables. Rare weaponry, exotica... But I've got my eye on a selection of canvases by the master portraitists of the Maribor School. Van der Neuve and Longendijk. Well, well. Never knew you to be a connoisseur. Of course I'm not. It's all muck and rubbish to me. Point of fact, I'll just wrap them in paper and lock them in the vault. Why in the world do... What do you mean, why, Geralt? I've got to diversify my investments, didn't I? Actually, I'm really just here to talk to Horst Borsodi. Oh, might be more of a problem than you'd expect. Because? An awful hermit, that one. Not a wee bit like his da, my little I keep his soul. But Horst is like to show his heed during the auction. I'll introduce you then. Be mighty indebted to you. Think nothing of it. Only if I collect on loans and promissory notes. <laughs> All right, up we go. White gold and mother of pearl with topaz insects. So Geralt, you thought of buying real estate? Could get the attractive terms on a mortgage. No such thing as attractive loan terms, Vimy. What about in Kaviri Mark? Hmm. Auction won't start for a time yet, it seems. Vimy, this is a banquet. Aye? And? I detest banquets. Vacuous conversation, food portions fit for a mouse, drinks that taste like piss. Ah, it won't all be bad. Let me introduce you to some of my most interesting associates. Old hand there is Countess Mignol. Wager you'll have plenty to blather about with her. <laughs> Prick in the corner's Hilbert. New coin, that one. Came into a right fortune playing quaint. Ah, there's Yaramir, art dealer. A purer snob I've never known, but he knows paintings like no other. So, ready to chat someone up? It's not fitting for us to stand here like knobs. <sighs> Greetings to the Honourable Countess. Madam, allow me to introduce my dear friend, Geralt of Rivia. Witcher of the School of the Wolf. Forgive me, but have we had the pleasure? No, but your guild is unmistakable. Your medallion. Take note, Geralt. Countess Mignol is an eminent collector of Vitaminaica. Vitamin... what now? All manner of objects related to the witcherly profession. Swords, gear, medallions. Does the Countess have her eye on anything particular today? No, but Horst Borsodi insisted he would put up something that would be of interest. Did he happen to say what it was? No. Oh, you know what he's like. A walking enigma. On another topic, Master Geralt, I was wondering if you'd be willing to help a lady in need. Depends on the nature of the need. Oh, it's quite the trifle. I stepped out onto the balcony a moment ago. I dropped an earring while there. I couldn't find it. It must have fallen through the floorboards. Perhaps you, with your cat eyes. Not a problem. 
I'll go right away. I shall be much obliged. See you in a minute, Vimy. You've my utmost respect, Master. Hmm. Some spilled wine. Nothing else. Hmm. There's no earring out here, is there? None. Maybe the Countess would care to explain what this is about, all jokes aside. Forgive me. I... God, this is so embarrassing. Do... Do you know Vesemir? He was a tin shorter than you, wore a mustache. Do I know him? Man taught me everything I know. What? How is he, if you don't mind my asking? Don't mind at all. But before I answer, I also wouldn't mind knowing how you knew each other. Oh, I've told no one. Not ever. But I suppose I owe you an explanation. It was the winter of 1234. A beast prowled the streets of Oxenford. A fledder, I believe. A contract was issued. A notice posted, and a witcher appeared. Vesemir, of the School of the Wolf. He came through our estate, tracking the beast. Our eyes met, something sparked. I wrote him a message, asked my governess to deliver it. He visited, under the cover of night, night after night. On one such occasion, my father heard something. Vesemir had to flee. So quickly, he left behind his gambeson. Ah, the first piece. The start of your collection. Yes. But also the end of our love. Father had an arrest warrant issued, then quickly married me off. I was fortunate. My husband died young, leaving me a sizable fortune. And thus, I have lived on memories. Afraid I have bad news. Oh? Please tell me. Did he at least die like a witcher? No. Avalach too began to lay plans of his own. Went. Not with just anybody, and always for high stakes. With you, might. I'll play on your terms.
Perhaps you should come back when you've got a better deck, or when you learn to play. Vivaldi, the banker from... Actually, where are you from? Matters little, mate. Gold knows no boundaries. What's all the fash, Corporal Batslav? Are you squabbling with my pal Geralt? Master Vivaldi, sir, your esteemed associate, he weren't invited to the auction, and I've... But I plow and have been, and he's coming with me. In you go, Geralt. But my orders... Fuck your orders! Need I take this up with the sergeant? Ha! I thought not. No! Stand to attention! Shut your giggy! Oh, the lads will be rolling back at the barracks. Sot it! Now march! Round you go! One, two, one, two! Appreciate the help. Just note, always had a mind to see into old pals and clients. Business with you's a pure pleasure, Vimmy. The dear departed wifey claimed the same. Ah ha! Folk are assembling. Auction's about to start. Time we went upstairs. Could have sworn the Borsodi's auction house was in Novigrad. It was, but they moved it. You see, Radovid offered Horst a preferential tax rate. Zero percent. Huh. Pretty much unbeatable. Aye. And I've nae seen the purer example of the benevolent state. What did folk come to bid on? Any idea? All kinds of valuables. Rare weaponry, exotica... But I've got my eye on a selection of canvases by the master portraitists of the Maribor school. Van der Neum and Longendijk. Well, well. Never knew you to be a connoisseur. Of course I'm not. It's all muck and rubbish to me. Point of fact, I'll just wrap them in paper and lock them in the vault. Why in the world do... What do you mean, why, Geralt? I've got to diversify my investments, didn't I? Actually, I'm really just here to talk to Horst Borsodi. Oh, might be more of a problem than you'd expect. Because? An awful hermit, that one. Not a wee bit like his da, my little I keep his soul. But Horst did like to show his heed during the auction. I'll introduce you then. Be mighty indebted to you. Think nothing of it. Only have a collect on loans and promissory notes. <laughs> All right, up we go. Gold and mother of pearl with topaz insects. So get out! You thought Goblet of Fire. Wonder what it is. With amethyst beads. At a starting price of two thousand crowns.
Hmm. Auction won't start for a time yet, it seems. Vimy, this is a banquet. Aye? And? I detest banquets. Vacuous conversation, food portions fit for a mouse, drinks that taste like piss. Ah, it won't all be bad. Let me introduce you to some of my most interesting associates. Old hand there is Countess Mignol. Wager you'll have plenty to blather about with her. <laughs> Prick in the corners, Hilbert. New coin, that one. Came into a right fortune playing Gwent. Ah, there's Yaramir, art dealer. A purer snob I've never known. But he knows paintings like no other. So, ready to chat someone up? It's not fitting for us to stand here like knobs. <sighs> Greetings to the Countess. Madam, allow me to introduce my dear friend, Geralt of Rivia. Witcher of the School of the Wolf. Forgive me, but have we had the pleasure? No, but your guild is unmistakable. Your medallion. Take note, Geralt. Countess Mignol is an eminent collector of Vitaminaica. Vitamin... what now? All manner of objects related to the witcherly profession. Swords, gear, medallions... Does the Countess have her eye on anything particular today? No, but Horse Borsodi insisted he would put up something that would be of interest. Did he happen to say what it was? No. Oh, you know what he's like. A walking enigma. On another topic. Master Geralt, I was wondering if you'd be willing to help a lady in need. Depends on the nature of the need. Oh, it's quite the trifle. I stepped out onto the balcony a moment ago. I dropped an earring while there. I couldn't find it. It must have fallen through the floorboards. Perhaps you, with your cat eyes... Not a problem. I'll go right away. I shall be much obliged. See you in a minute, Vimy. The Honorable Countess. Madam, allow me to introduce my dear friend, Geralt of Rivia. Witcher of the School of the Wolf. Forgive me, but have we had the pleasure? No, but your guild is unmistakable. Your medallion. Take note, Geralt. Countess Mignol is an eminent collector of Vitaminaica. Vitamin... what now? All manner of objects related to the witcherly profession. Swords, gear, medallions... Mind if I ask how the Countess became interested in us, humble monster slayers? I've some pleasant associations, dating from my oh-so-distant youth. Didn't you say such things, Countess? You look right fetching to me. That's very kind, Master Vivaldi. But apart from my Veda Maniaca, I also own a number of mirrors. Your most prized piece. What would it be? An armor element. An antique. School of the Wolf. From 1234. Classic. Is it up for sale? I fear not. It's a memento. One of great sentimental value. But perhaps the Countess has got other Witcher curios she's willing to part with. Or acquire. Uh, perhaps she could trade. I'd charge 5%. A modest uh, uh, transaction fee. Vimy, never seen anyone so good at laying their mitts on coin that clinked within earshot. But what the hell? See if we can't make a deal.
Does the Countess have her eye on anything particular today? No, but Horse Borsodi insisted he would put up something that would be of interest. Did he happen to say what it was? No, uh, like a walking enigma. On another topic, Master Geralt, I was wondering if you'd be willing to help a lady in need. Depends on the nature of the need. Oh, it's quite the trifle. I stepped out onto the balcony a moment ago. I dropped an earring while there. I couldn't find it. It must have fallen through the floorboards. Perhaps you, with your cat eyes. Not a problem. I'll go right away. I shall be much obliged. See you in a minute, Vimy. I believe I'll be on that Corbe landscape. A landscape? You detest them. Ever true. But it's got a lovely frame. Hmm. Some spilled wine. Nothing else. There's no earring out here, is there? None. Maybe the Countess would care to explain what this is about, all jokes aside. Forgive me. I... God, this is so embarrassing. Do... Do you know Vesemir? He was a tin shorter than you, wore a mustache. Do I know him? Man taught me everything I know. What? How is he, if you don't mind my asking? Don't mind at all. But before I answer, I also wouldn't mind knowing how you knew each other. Oh, I've told no one. Not ever. But I suppose I owe you an explanation. It was the winter of 1234. A beast prowled the streets of Oxenford. A fledder, I believe. A contract was issued. A notice posted, and a witcher appeared. Vesemir, of the School of the Wolf. He came through our estate, tracking the beast. Our eyes met, something sparked. I wrote him a message, asked my governess to deliver it. He visited, under the cover of night, night after night. On one such occasion, my father heard something. Vesemir had to flee. So quickly, he left behind his gambeson. Ah, the first piece. The start of your collection. Yes. But also the end of our love. Father had an arrest warrant issued, then quickly married me off. I was fortunate. My husband died young, leaving me a sizable fortune. And thus, I have lived on memories. I'm afraid I have bad news. Oh? Please tell me. Did he at least die like a witcher? No. He died like a hero. There is that. I thank you for tolerating a decrepit madwoman so elegantly. Please don't say that. I am old and I am wealthy. I may say what I please. And now, be so kind and leave me to my thoughts. to introduce you, Geralt of Rivia. Enchanted. Pleasure's all mine. How's it? Got your eye on any sparkly bits today? Not really. I buy what strikes me fancy. I need something right sumptuous for me walls just now. Nilfgaard. I get it right? Excuse me? Your Gwent deck. It's Nilfgaard, innit? Come on, admit it. Not a bad deck, Nilfgaard, but 
I'll take the Northern Realms over it any day. Ah, understood. A patriot. You ought to know, Helmut. Geralt Heaves, a positively superb player. Superb! Hmm. We got a minute before the auction starts, so... Nudge, nudge, wink, wink. Maybe around? Suppose it's not whether you win or lose. Sure, I'm game. Brilliant. I'll lay my cards out. Naturally. Uh, Geralt, may I have a wee word? What is it? Well, mate, see as I've brought yous together, I do believe I'm owed a share of your winnings, if there are any. Ten percent. I find this for your sorts, okay? Mm-hmm. Pretty clear now why you wanted us to meet. One cardinal bit I've learnt in my trade, friend. Coin dinner stick. So, what'll it be? Awfully resourceful of you, Vimmy. I'm impressed. Gotta refuse all the same. No offense. Danny make a fuss now. I'm a dwarf and a banker, so I've doubly thick skin. Good luck to you! All right. Game on.
You're not at all bad. But it ain't enough to outplay me. That's so. How about a rematch? Apologies, mate, but I only ever play any bloke once. Var file, as them pointy ears say. Oh, hard luck, Geralt. Your cards, though. You find them in the crapper. Didn't they line up, did they? I've not seen you before among the well healed. Yaramir! Uh, might we trouble you, we spell? Mm hmm. Greetings, Vivaldi. Who's this? Geralt of Rivia, Witcher. I thought you might have a blather with us. I brought the paintings on the block today. Hmm? Ah, sniffing for a quick turnaround as usual, are we? Hot calling the kettle black, I'd say. Do a lively trade in canvases yourself, my friend. True. Yet first they delight my eyes, whereas you treat them as mere promissory notes. The only arts that interest you are those culinary. What about you, Witcher? Do you know anything about paintings? Realize this might be hard to believe, given my crude-looking mug. But yeah, I know a thing or two. Truly? We ought to see what. Do you know our friend Vivaldi is in possession of five canvases by Van der Nob? Yet he cannot distinguish them from landscapes at five crowns apiece. I shan't pretend it's otherwise. Yet for you, my dear connoisseur Witcher, that should present not the slightest problem, so do tell which of these is the handiwork of Edward van der Nobe, the master from Maribor. So, what did he tell you? To buy the Van Roo. Apparently this bookseller in Novigrad's willing to pay top coin for his work. Oh, who'd have thunk? All right, let's go. Ink spot upon ink spot. She had number of them's doing my heed in. Huh. All... Esteemed ladies, honorable gentlemen, the auction will begin shortly. Take your places, please. Ah, a long lock. Come with me to the fort. I won't see much elseways. Listen, forgot to ask you, how's this auction going to work? They'll bring out three lots to start with. Once they've sold, or not, there'll be an intermission. Horst Basodi will probably appear there. That's when I'll introduce you. Counting on it. In the meantime, have you got a budget? You prepared to bid? At a very favorable rate of interest. Just one crown on ten when you pay me back. Here, what to do you for a bit of daffer? Happy hunting to you! Esteemed ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. I hereby open the auction. Ladies and gentlemen, lot number one is a brass figurine from the collection of the infamous Count Romilly. Rumor has it the figure harbors a treasure inside. A rumor one may prove or disprove solely by destroying the beautiful bauble itself. Starting price? Quite the bargain at 50 crowns. Any advance? With Master Hilbert at 100. To Countess Mignol, now at 150. Do I hear 200? Might I have an advance? Going once? Twice? Going thrice? The Honourable Yaramir enters a bid of 300. Any advance on three? 300 going. Countess Mignol at 350 going once, twice. 
Lot number one, the mysterious brass figurine, sold to Countess Mignol. Proceeding now to lot number two. A canvas by the young Novigrad artist Van Roe, Starry Night over the Pontar. Charming piece. Truly a bargain at 20 crowns. Ladies and gentlemen, 20 crowns, it's practically naught. Oh, with a bidder, cat-eyed no less, at 20. Do I hear 30? Forgive me, Geralt, but business is business. 30 from Vimy Vivaldi. Do I see 40 anywhere? 30 going once, going twice. Aha! The white-haired gentleman bids 40. Who will bid more? 40 once, 40 twice. Vivaldi the bank is not about to give up easily. 50! Any advance on 50? 50 going once, going twice. Last chance, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, we've a right bidding war here. 60, the excitement! An advance on 60? 60 going once, 60 going twice? Oh, all yours, Geralt. Sold! Van Roo's starry night over the Pontar to the gentleman with the cat eyes. Lot number three, ladies and gentlemen. A true rarity, scarce as hen's teeth, spectacles. A frame of gold, mountain crystal lenses polished by the tiny dexterous hands of the gnome masters. Once the property of the famed hired assassin known as the Professor. Starting price of 200 crowns. Anyone tempted? Gwent Maestro Hilbert offers an advance of 50. Do I have three? My, haven't we livened up? 300 from Yaramir Ivanovich Zaitsev. Going once? Twice? <clears throat> Brilliant! With the gentleman with the white hair now at 350. What? I didn't. 350 once? 350 twice? And three, four! 400 now with Countess Mignol. Any advance on that? Going once? Twice? Thrice? And sold! The Professor's spectacles go to the Countess. Oh, the excitement. With the three lots behind us, we'll go to an intermission. Amenities abound, please partake. We'll resume shortly. Oh, Geralt, look! Horst Basudi! Come on, before some other cocksuckers steal him. Just, well, don't expect a warm welcome. Greetings, Horst. Allow me to introduce a dear friend and associate, Geralt of Rivia, who comes uninvited. But you've gained by my presence. Dropped a hefty pile of crowns here. I'm not like Vivaldi. Profit alone only goes so far for me. I seek more. The auction house is primarily a meeting place for the local elite. I needn't tell you, an itinerant mutant doesn't quite fit in. <laughs> Got the distinct impression the two of you started off on the wrong foot. Perhaps we should raise a toast to... What's one like you want from one like me? The Borsodi's auction house. I'm assuming the name's no coincidence. Got a relative I could talk to? Someone... How do I say this? A smidgen less irritating? <laughs> name's a historical legacy, Geralt. Auction House was founded by two brothers, Horst's father and an uncle. In this generation... I, and only I, am it. So get to the point, now. Right, let's dispense with the niceties. Maximilian Borsodi's house. Gotta lay my hands on it, whatever it... What? Where did you learn of it? Gentlemen, no reason to lose our composure. Raise our voices. <laughs> I ask you. Where did you learn of it? Whoa, come on now. Where? From Olgierd von Everek. Name mean anything to you? It does. Guards, escort the Witcher out. And he's not to enter, not alone, not hand in hand with Hierarch Hamelfart. Honestly, he asked a question. 
It were a simple inquiry. One more word, and I shall move my accounts to the competition. Sorry, mate, but... No reason to trouble the guards, Horst. I'll go willingly. I don't recall giving you a choice in the matter. Kick his swiving mutated ass out. Your swords, Master. Law says we're to return them. Law don't say when, though. So we'll do it, aye. Just after we beat the singing shite out of the honorable gentleman. Mm-hmm. Gathering place for the elite, truly. Come on, lads. Let's loosen our muscles a bit. Right. Left. <laughs> Well, how long are you gonna make me wait? Law says if you see someone hurt, you should summon a medic. Law doesn't say how fast, though, so you can sit tight a while. Seems true what they say. Sword or no sword, a witcher brings gold. Not in the mood for your peasant wisdom. Who the hell are you? If all goes well, dare say I'm your partner. Don't need any partners. Oh, I don't know about that. No chance you'll lay your hands on Max Bosodi's house alone. Really think you can help me? We can help each other. Get to the point, if you can. To get this house, you need to get into the vault. And there's no way Horst will let you in there out of the kindness of his heart. A heist. Don't like that idea one bit. Got any others? Find the herbalist lives near Oxenford. Ask for some yarrow extract. He'll know why you've come. If this is a trap of some sort. We're seeing you. I hope. Greetings, Master. What can I do for you? Got a razor and shears? Good. Make me look decent.
How can I be of service? Got some coin I'd like to convert into crowns. You've come to the right place. A better rate you'll not find anywhere in the city. How can I be of service? Want to pay back my loan? Splendid! I see you as even more credit worthy than before. Till next time. By order of the hierarch, whosoever conceals a mage in their home shall burn alongside him or her. Oh no! Grey boy, come. Witcher, scrum before I lose my patience. Any means Do I have a Geralt of Rivia, known as the White Wolf, the Butcher of Blaviken. Geralt of Rivia is enough. What is it? A man came to me a few years past, paid me to keep a book for you, said you'd come for it one day. Who was he? Um, he didn't introduce himself. But the book has a red cover, that I remember. I'm sure I've not sold it. All right, see if I can find it. And perhaps glance at the others while you're at it. Be glad to look over what you got. Interested in books? You don't look the scholar, but well, we've ones with drawings as well. Got a painting I'm looking to sell. Good for you. But why come a me about it? Because it's a Van Roe. Heard you might... A Van Roe? I'll take it. Now, where's me purse? I haven't much just now. But I'll add a bit of loot. Another witch I left it as collateral. What was his name? Guillotine? That's so. Interesting. Thanks. Adventures of Muriel the Lovely Harlot, adorned with humorous engravings. Hmm. Treatment of furuncles through cauterization, a study. My manifesto. 
Must be it. There's a letter inside. Let's see these books of yours. Let's see these books of yours.
Farewell. Greetings! Show me your wares. So long. Alongside him or her. Baths are in silk. I highly recommend you visit. I, I must see a medic. Kill one more beast, and they'll give you the keys to the city. The barn on yonder fence, the crowing cockle sits. I'll come to you, my darling lass, as soon as I can piss. Move it! Not so fast, Rue. That's it, Roach. Slower. No loitering round here. Got village in here. Look. Well, I Hey there. Sultan. Get out! Novigrad doesn't seem like a safe place anymore. What's keeping you here? I was keen on starting my own enterprise, but nothing came of it. Nevertheless, I took on some debt. Got to pay it back now. I'd like to blame it on the war or human treachery, but the truth is, I've got my own thick skull to blame. Rather not dwell on it, Geralt. You don't mind. Nice talking to you, Zoltan. See you later.
me. Slow now.
You'll never learn. Rather efficient. That all you got to say? I saved your life. Pfft. We'd have disposed of that rabble easily. We? My, aren't we precise? You know what I mean. Now, are you here to trade or not, hmm? Know any advanced formulae? Maybe something you could teach me? All I know, I learned from Master Gremist of Skelliger. Looking to apprentice yourself in the herbalist trade? Nah, I just want to learn something new. Call it what you will. You must sail across the Great Sea. Find the Isle of Ard Skellig. There, in the sacred grove, the learned Master Gremist will judge whether you're fit to be his pupil. Hear about the contract. Whew. A taker at long last. Poverty in everyone's lips, but when you've a job to give, no one's eager. Folk are lazy, that's the truth of it. Stick to the point, if you don't mind. Uh, right, right, right. Sorry for the chatter. I'm anxious, is all. Been so long without any word. <sighs> it's my apprentice, Falkert. I sent him to the Dead White Wood. You know, the forest near Martin Foy's farmstead. I I'd run out of hand fibre, see, and the, the damned stuff grows thick as weeds there. Let me guess. Hasn't returned. Yes. Uh, no, he hasn't. Please, find him and bring him back safe and sound. No promises, but I can certainly look for him. Any distinguishing features? How will I recognize him? Hmm. You've got to think on that. Well, he's a, a halfling, as I am. A light hair. Will that do? It'll have to. So long.
Come on, Roach.
Give me up. Herbalist's cart. Got some blood here. Blood. Dried. A few days old. Trail's gone cold. Need to look around. Ask. Maybe someone's seen him. Sharp now, oh. with company. What's brought you to these parts, Master? Lost your way? No, looking for someone. Ah, do tell. Perhaps we can help. What is this place, exactly? A village. Plain to see. Abandoned huts is about all I see. Aye. It's only us now. Young folk have gone off to the city seeking work. 
and the old have all died. Ain't that right, Judd? Right as rain. Looking for someone named Fulkert. Light-haired halfling. Ring any bells? Aye. Saw a little one round here. Out picking herbs. Mm-hmm. Till he got hurt. Ran across a trail of blood. Trail led me here. Tis just as you say. Wolves had attacked him. He fled here seeking shelter. I told him. Back to your city, young master. Plenty such dangers hereabouts. But the fool was stubborn. Said he had to pick his blooms aforehand. Ventured back into the woods. And that were the last of him. Heard howling that night. Sent shivers down my spine. So where are his remains? Wolves would have left something. His boots, maybe. Did go looking. But it's too old to go tramping about in the woods. So long. Hmm. Rotting meat. Damn it. Light haired halfling. Must be Fulkert. Ripped open, gutted, and drained. No way to determine the cause of death. <laughs> 